All right, so we have a 2017 Series 5 L200 Barbarian, uh, also known as a Triton in other markets, or a Fiat fullback. And as you can see, we've had a minor incident with the brake pads and discs. Uh, it's happened on the motorway, uh, so we couldn't really stop. It could still brake. Um, yeah, I think we need new discs and pads there. So let's go through the process of doing that. Right, so if we get a better view of this, uh, I think it's safe to say these pads and discs are dead. Can't see the back because there's a nice little cover on it. And yeah, every time it's breaking, we were throwing chunks of metal everywhere. So the pads are still there, but I think we were on the backing. Give this all a nice clean up as well. Right. Let's get all this off. Alright, so like pretty much any caliper, uh, we've got slide pins top and bottom. I've undone the bottom one, cracked open the top one, it's gone. There we go. So hopefully we'll be able to lever this off uh, and up around. There we go. And there's the state of the poor pads. So let's get them out and have a look. Let's check the air. Uh... This looks okay and we weren't actually grinding on the caliper by the looks of it. So that's okay. And we'll need to push this back in a bit um, because obviously the new brake pads are thicker but that's a problem for a moment later. Alright, so this is the rear pad. It took a bit of a battering getting it off. Um, so still a little bit of meat left in there, but what was interesting is this is the acoustic like wear indicator. Uh, so this was not contacting the disc to make the squealy sound to let you know the brakes are low. However, the other side completely down to the metal at the front there and slightly unevenly worn as well. So yeah, that's why it's out a bit. A... Like that. Whilst we're here, we'll take uh, the fitting kit out and give it a good old clean, hopefully without snapping it. Because I don't really want to buy another one of these. I can't do this one handed. But yeah, that's what it is, just keep the pads in. Alright, so before we go much further, uh, let's check that these are the same as the old ones. Um, because otherwise, we're going to have to go somewhere. Looks like the chaps. A lot more meat on them. Um, and then these ones have got this tab on it, so uh, very hard to line up. Actually, yeah, I'd say they're they're good to go. All right, we just put the caliper up there out of the way. Now I'm led to believe that this disc is actually free floating. Um, but given how hard it was to get the wheel off, I'm going to guess it's going to be very hard to get this off. But first we need to get the caliper off. And there's a couple more bolts at the back there just to get the caliper carrier off. Uh, don't know what size they are. Look about 15, 16s. They were in fact 17s. Get in here, try not to 
Bolivar Jalap. Oh, that is not good enough, that one. Well, that was a fight. Uh, we've got it off. Uh, I had to turn the the entire uh, steering wheel out here to get my impact in. I had to use it on full whack, which is something mad like 400 newton meters, and it eventually shifted it. So, God knows how tight whoever put that on put that on, but it was it was not coming off. Um, so yeah, caliper should hopefully come off. Well, it helps if I actually undo the bottom bolt. Um, that's how it's supposed to come off. Much easier. I'm going to check the caliper for caliper carrier. All looks pretty good. Now, is this just going to come off? I don't see how else it's held in, so... Uh, yeah, let's give it give it some tactical taps. Right, a few little hits with the hammer later. And it's very tight to come off. But it has come off. You see that's pretty corroded in there. And this braid disc is had better days. Right. I think we'll get a wire brush and give all this a clean up whilst we're here. And yeah, start putting it back together again. So yeah, like the uh, pads, just check the discs are the same size. Yep, goodbye bag for it. Uh, yeah, so let's put it all back on again. And one super, oh yeah, one super important thing you have to do with new disc is they come covered in uh, protective oil. Uh, so you need to clean that off with some brake, brake and clutch cleaner. I'll just give it a wipe down just to make sure there is a little bit left because that'll mess up your pads and then you have to do all this again. Yeah, do a better job than I'm doing here because I'm doing it one-handed. Alright, caliper is back in. I've cleaned up these. Time to fit the pads in. So, uh, for our memory, the one with the uh, acoustic wear goes on the back and the one without it goes on the front. And for this type of pad, uh, my camera is having a right moment. You go in sideways, push it in and then clip it in. Like that. Do the same on the other side. Sideways. Clip it in. Make sure your brake disc is square. And use it square up against it. Right. Job done. Alright, now we have these in here, naturally it doesn't fit in that gap because that's much thicker. Now you can get a proper brake rewind tool to go in here, I'll throw a picture of it on screen. Basically sits in here and just cranks it closed. Uh, there's various other ghetto ways you can do it. Um, if you don't care about disc and pads, when you're taking them off you can get a screwdriver through here and basically lever it between the pad and the disc and it'll probably trash both. I tried to do that but couldn't because the pads were just literally melted on here so I'll be doing some other random concoction of levering pushing this back and I've opened up the uh, brake fluid reservoir up there somewhere hopefully you can see it to reduce the pressure so hopefully I can just lever something in here and it'll go back in. I succumbed and used the actual proper tool so it's just very hard to do one-handed. Uh, put a brake pad in there because it doesn't quite fit this is one for a car not a truck. And it basically just with the power of levers, forces it all back in. Use a brake pad to spread it out. And there we go, all back on. New discs and pads.
interrupt this time lapse to look at the other brake disc. So this is what I could see on the outside. I thought, oh, there's just a little bit of a, it's just starting to go there. The back was all bad. Because here's the uh, pad. And this is the one with the wear indicator, which has snapped off. Right, so there we go, that's both sides changed. Took me about 20 minutes to do this side, and about 30, 40 to do the other side because it was more of a fight. But then that side was more damaged, so I think everything got hot and horrible. Yeah, I hope that you find that useful. Oh, and one thing. Hello, dog. Uh, always do these up with a torque wrench. I haven't done that yet because I've not dropped it back on the ground. Everyone knows how to do that. If you don't, Google it.